So the process of a dental implant, step one is coming in for a surgical consult. As soon as you know that you're interested in an implant, I think it's important to get that planning process started. And I think it's very important when you're looking to have an implant placed that you know that your provider is thinking with the end goal in mind. Here we call that restoratively driven implant planning, which means that I'm not planning an implant to go into a gap based on where the bone is. Instead, I'm thinking what size tooth or how many teeth need to fill this space? And then from there, where exactly do we want those teeth to be placed? and where does the implant then need to be placed to best support a restoration of that size or in that position. So all of these are factors that we want to take into consideration as early as possible from that very first appointment. When you're coming in for a consultation, we're gathering all of this data, we're taking measurements, we're taking 3D intraoral scans of your mouth so that we've got these digital files, and then we're taking a 3D x-ray or a cone beam CT so that we can see your bone, your teeth, your roots in every dimension as well as important anatomy in the area. Once we've gathered all of that data and we've input it into our software, your surgeon is the one who's planning the guided implant process. As your surgeon, I'm looking at fabricating a guide that our in-house lab will 3D print and refine so that the day of surgery, we're placing your implant through the guide rather than freehanding or guessing where the implant needs to go.